how to backup your iPhone to your external hard drive. As the title of this video says, in this short tutorial I will show you how to backup your iPhone on an external hard drive to save space on your computer. By default, you are not able to choose where to save your backup. It will be saved automatically on your local drive. Usually, iOS backups are quite big. Mine for example is around 250GB and I don't want to waste my SSD space on my Mac just to store my iPhone backups. It's way more practical to keep your iOS backups on an external hard drive so you can access them only when there is such a need. By the way, I'm really surprised that Apple does not offer this feature by default as often we don't have enough free storage on our MacBooks to keep iPhone backups. My method is very simple and does not require any special knowledge or any third-party applications. We will create a link between the backup folder on your Mac and your external hard drive where the actual data will be stored. To perform backup on an external hard drive, just follow three simple steps. Step number one, plug your external hard drive into your MacBook and create a folder named Backup on your external drive. It's important to name the folder Backup with the capital B, okay? You can place this Backup folder in any other folder of your choice, in my case, iPhone 12 Pro Max Backups. Step number two, open Finder, go to Folder, Library. Library stores all the most important system files of your Mac. In library, search for application support. Open it and search for the mobile sync folder. In this place, macOS saves all backups of your iPhone or iPad. Copy your existing backups into the backup folder you just created on your external hard drive and delete the backup folder in mobile sync on your Mac. If you don't have any backups, just simply delete the backup folder in mobile sync on your Mac. Step number three. Now we will be linking your backup folder on your external hard drive to the mobile sync folder on your Mac. So your backup will be saved on your external hard drive and not on your computer. But your MacBook will be thinking that the backup is still stored in the mobile sync folder locally on your computer. Basically, we will be creating a link between a folder stored on your Mac and a folder on an external drive. I hope you got the idea. Open terminal app on your Mac and type this command lowercase l n space hyphen s space then drag the backup folder that you just created on your external hard drive to the terminal and it will automatically create a path for it. Next, go back to the application support and drag the whole mobile sync folder into terminal and press enter. As you can see, we just created a link between these two folders. You can confirm that by going to the mobile sync folder on your Mac and you will see a backup folder with a little arrow. By clicking on it, it will automatically redirect you to your external hard drive where actually your backup data is stored. Now you can do the backup of your iOS device and it will be automatically stored on your external hard drive without taking space on your Mac. I will leave this terminal comment in the description of this video. Sometimes you need to grant full access to the terminal app to make folder links. For doing that, go to Settings, Security, Full Disk Access and Grant Access for the terminal app. Guys, I hope my tutorial was useful. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you like this video and you want to support me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more interesting tech-oriented videos. Thanks again, see you later on YouTube, bye bye.